Watch Dr. Drew's new show at 9 on HLN. Weeknights on HLN. Tracy has turned this longtime struggle with anorexia into a lifetime series. It is called Starving Secrets with Tracy Gold. Welcome, Tracy. Oh, My goodness. Well, Thank you for be joining here. us. It's a very courageous thing to come up and talk about this. And Thank you. Common problem. I know we, we live in a time when obesity has eclipsed the conversation about eating disorders, but that's just another eating disorder as far as I'm concerned. Absolutely. Yeah. I agree. I and agree. so how bad did it get for you? Oh, it, it got so bad. I mean, it, it interrupted my life. It changed my life. I mean, it, you know, I was on a hit TV series. Everything was going great for me, and it really put a stop to it. And I was had to leave the show and um, go into a, a treatment center. And, you know, it, it just, I, I, I hit a horrible place. Well, let's explain to people how bad it gets. Okay. I mean, you, how, how, what was your weight at the worst? Seventy-nine pounds. Seventy-nine pounds. And I, and I try not to talk about weight, but for no, this, for, this aspect, is for yeah, this sure. is for this is for purposes of people putting the pieces of the puzzle yeah. together. So when people now now it's not just about the weight. You got to understand because at that weight, ovaries shut down, estrogen mm -hmm. levels start breaking, start reducing, bones start breaking mm -hmm. down, brain doesn't function normally. The vascular system can be stressed. There can be an accelerated vascular disease. Heart can be stressed. There can be rhythm disturbances, even sudden death. Did you have any major medical complications? Yeah, what, failure? What, what happened was is that I had gotten sick with bronchitis because I was so thin, and the producers had basically said, we need you to gain some weight. And I went away on Christmas break with kind of good intentions, thinking I could do it, put a few pounds on, keep everyone quiet. <laughs> Couldn't do it, lost more weight, came back to the set, was really sick. They brought a doctor to the set. And I guess he did some, some work on me, you know, did, he took some tests, and they sent me home. And then we got a phone call from Warner Brothers saying we can't insure her. My, my blood pressure was way low, all of that. So, so for people at home, the, the, the really conundrum, the part that's confusing for people about eating disorder is, so here you are, to anybody looking at you, dying. But to you, you see something different. Well, you know, and I think for me, I, I thought at that point was, I felt so stuck. I felt so stuck. I didn't know how to get out of it. It's everybody. So you, so you did what kind of want to get better at that point? <sighs> I didn't want to let go of the disease, but I was fearful for the place I was in. Okay. So I thought that I could maybe kind of balance it better. Right. It's like the alcoholic trying to drink responsibly. Sure. That kind I, of thing. I, absolutely. Yeah. And I, I thought that like if I could just you know gain a few pounds and get everybody off my back, but I couldn't, and I was so stuck. And, and did, did you have that body dysmorphia where you saw yourself as overweight too, even no. though you were so skinny? You didn't have that piece. No, of it. no. Okay. I, I, I saw myself as. Thin, but I was every weight I hit, it became my new normal. Mm -hmm. So I was afraid to like to to change it, and I felt thin, and I felt like there was such fear of changing the way I looked. Now, do you think some of that, like the celebrity, the celebrity images we have, we got Miley Cyrus and Kelly Clarkson, they're being criticized for their weight being mm -hmm. too much, and then everything that young girls see in the the magazines. Here we go, people. They're there, yeah. Yeah, the people in magazines, though, they're all stick figures and uh, unrealistic and, images. Yeah, those are normal, healthy yeah, young adults. And, so. and that makes me so mad. Yeah. I mean, I just get so angry, and that you have to be a young girl, especially like a Miley Cyrus who's so young, and she has to stand there and defend herself because she doesn't look like she did when she was 15 which right. the body doesn't look and, like and, it. And by the way, there's, there's an interesting note out there statistically, which is that while women all feel like they want to lose weight, men actually prefer women with a little bit of weight on them. Yeah, it's, and the funny thing is, I think women are always in competition with other women. Yes. I think it's always what the woman says yes. that, that resonates more with us. You're absolutely, you're absolutely correct. 